How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Gareth. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life with no code tools. And today we are bringing you an exclusive interview with the founding team from Sync Inc. Now, if you haven't heard about Sync Inc. yet, they offer an amazing tool that allows you to keep data that you have in Airtable synced with other sources. One place that this is really useful is people who need to create a true sync across Airtable databases. Get this request a lot on this channel. People always asking for a good solution to do a true sync, not just the Airtable table sync that's available. Well, Sync Inc now allows you to do that very thing. And it connects to other third party tools as well, like Stripe, Shopify, just to name a few. So check out this episode where our consultant, Ali, sits down with the founders, Eric and Anthony from Sync Inc to learn more about their journey and get a live demo of their incredible tool. Now, before we get to the heart of the interview itself, just know that this is an edited or condensed version made specifically for YouTube. If you're looking to check out the full 30, 40 minute interview, it's available only to our mastermind users. If you're interested in joining our mastermind, joining a group of like-minded pro Airtable users who help each other as a community and also get exclusive access to the full interviews, check out the link below or visit me at garethpronovost.com slash Airtable dash mastermind. But without further ado, let's get into that interview. Hello, I'm here with Eric Goldman and Anthony Akomazo. Is that how you pronounce your last Nailed it. All right, excellent. You, you guys are the founders of Sync Inc., which is a pretty new platform in the Airtable community, and I'm super excited to learn more about it. Um, how did you guys get started in this area? Uh, thanks, Allie. We're excited to be here. So um, Anthony and I had our first experience with Airtable right when, probably like March, February of 2020, last year, right when the pandemic was starting. We used Airtable to organize a volunteer organization. And that's, I think, the big first kind of serious Airtable project we started working on. We fell in love with Airtable's flexibility, how easy it was to get going, and anyone could use it. We could use it. Volunteers could use it. It was just as easy to use as a spreadsheet, but had all the niceties of relations. So that's really when we started like getting involved in the Airtable community. Excellent. And, and do you guys both have backgrounds in tech as well? Yeah. yeah. We're both programmers. Excellent. And so we kind of, we liked the um, sort of bridge that Airtable had between some of the programming concepts we're used to, like the relations that Eric mentioned, but also totally approachable for non-technical folks. Exactly. I think that's what draws so many people in. It just kind of gives you that doorway to start point and click and build your own apps. Um, and so Sync Inc. allows you to turn your database uh, into a, a SQL based thing that you can query. Is that correct? So a little bit more on the technical side, kind of like adding something in for the people that are programmers such as yourself. Yeah, so Airtable is essentially a database, um, but programmers are used to very specific open source SQL databases like Postgres mm -hmm. and databases like Postgres are very well supported in the programming community. So there's tons of languages that can connect to them and different tools that can connect to it. Um, and so for Eric and myself, we love the flexibility of Airtable. But we were still missing all the programming support that a SQL database can give you. And the Airtable's API is just, it's much more limited than making a direct uh, query against the database. So we created Sync Inc, which it spins up a Postgres database that just replicates uh, your Airtable data and keeps in sync in real time. That is super cool. And that is definitely a huge thing I hear a lot of people complaining about when they're trying to connect to the API, dealing with like pagination and uh, the rate limits. Um, so it sounds like Sync Inc kind of comes in and starts solving those problems. Exactly. If you think about it, you know, most query interfaces, um, they're just way more limited than being able to just write SQL against the database. So with Airtable, you have to figure out 
what their filter by syntax is all about. You can only get 100 records per request. You can't join across tables. Uh, for a programmer, it's kind of a, a non-starter. But with the SQL database, you can craft a query that can be very complex, join across multiple tables and get you exactly the data that you want and do it in a few milliseconds. That's so cool. I, I know I can already start thinking of a bunch of use cases. Uh, was there like something in particular that kind of sent you guys in this direction? It was really building on top of the Airtable API, right, Eric? And it just yeah. thinking to ourselves, wow, this would, this would the task we were trying to do would be 10 times easier if we just had a Postgres database we could read from. But with the, if we had just built with Postgres, we wouldn't get the wonderful UI that Airtable has. So we wanted to, to bridge the two together and get the best of both worlds. Excellent. So is it like once you kind of create that Postgres version of it and you're making updates to Airtable, does, do those updates get pushed at the same time? Yeah, the updates get pushed as, as fast as the API will allow, and that's something we're always improving and optimizing. Um, but if your base is you know, 10,000 rows or, or, or fewer, um, you'll find updates get pushed in less than a minute. That's awesome. Yeah, what we really wanted to make possible when we started kind of building this volunteer organization on Airtable is we wanted everyone that was comfortable in Airtable to be able to use it to its full extent write formulas, filter, create views, do everything that you know Airtable allows. And then we didn't want to, the developer to feel a compromise. Um, we wanted the developer, we wanted to be able to just access all the data in SQL, build on it. And as we made changes, the users in Airtable felt the change. And then if the develop, you know, if they made changes, the developer, you know, was getting the most up-to-date data possible. And so we just wanted to create that new mechanism, just another way for developers to build. And uh, so far, it's been fantastic to see the community pick it up so quick. So it's been really rewarding. You know, it'll start with an Airtable base. Let's say you're working with like a project tracker base in Airtable. Um, to use Sync Inc., you'll go to syncinc.so, that's our website, and uh, you'll log in. And once you're logged in to start using Sync Inc., you'll just click this add base button. You'll enter your Airtable API key. If you don't know where that is, you'll just click on your user, go to the account and copy your API key. This will give us access to your Airtable workspace. Then you'll find your base. Um, so this is the project tracker base. There it is. You can see we have a lot of bases. Mm -hmm. You'll select which tables you want to sync. By default, we're going to sync all of them, but you can just select the ones you want. If you do allow us to sync all tables, when you ever add new tables to your base, they'll immediately show up in your Sync Inc. database. Excellent. Then something we just added after a lot of feedback is you can select the destination. So you can actually sync to a new Sync Inc. database that will spin up for you. If you already have a database, you can actually sync to a schema in that database. And what that allows you to do is you can actually query across your Airtable bases if you'd like, uh, which can be really powerful if you're using a lot of synced tables or you have a lot of similar Airtable bases that, are, that you want to work with. Or you can actually, we can actually sync to your own Postgres database. So if you're a developer out there, you already have a Postgres database where you have other data stored, we can sync your Airtable base uh, right into that, into a schema in that database. And what we're doing right now is provisioning you your own Postgres database hosted in AWS. You can see it's already done. And what we provide you with is the credentials to access that database. So. Let me show you how to access this database first in a really simple SQL uh, client called Table Plus. So I'm just going to copy this connection URL. It's a really simple way to get the credentials for your Postgres database. So I'll copy that. And then I'll just go to Table Plus. Um, you can use basically any Postgres client out there. There's hundreds. And there's ones you can use for your team. There's ones you can use personally. There's hosted versions on the internet. We work with any Postgres client. Here, I'm just gonna click create a new uh, connection. I'm gonna import from URL. 
I'm going to paste that new connection URL that I just got from Sync Inc. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it temp for now. I'll test the connection. It's there. And then I can click connect. And what you'll see is we've just turned your Airtable base into a Postgres database. So you can see there's three tables here, clients, design projects, and tasks. And then there's one other table that we create called Sync Meta, which is where we provide a developer with some information about their when we last synced and how long it took. You can see this sync is taking just over a second. And so you can run SQL right in this client and it allows you to query your data using all the power of SQL. You can do joins, unions, all of those things. But one thing I also wanted to point out that we just released is we also just released our Airtable app. Uh, it's right here. It's called SQL Console. You can add it to your base. And after working with a lot of awesome Airtable users, they just wanted to query in Airtable. So we experimented by launching this app. It's brand new. It's not tons of features, but it allows you to run the exact queries I was just running, but right in your Airtable base. So then you can actually query your base right from right inside Airtable. Um, and so the nice thing here, what we're seeing a lot of clients do is they're running more complex queries that they might not be able to pull together easily using the filters or the different uh, group by options. Mm -hmm. So you can really quickly do all sorts of, of different queries right inside of Airtable. You can select your schema. And again, you're going to see exactly how we're translating your base into Postgres. And then SQL can basically allow you to ask any question of your Airtable data that you can really imagine. And what's beautiful about SQL is if you have a question and you don't know how to ask it, it's such a major language. It's been around for 50 years. You are one Google search away from getting someone to show you exactly what you need to do. I'm just thinking in my head about all the awesome like use cases that you could get out of this. Like, it, for example, I have a client that is using Airtable to host their inventory and they want to put it on their website, but their developers were having trouble because they had to, you know, write the code to get around the pagination and could only display so many at a time and the search was going slow and they couldn't, you know, like I want to see all of the blue trucks. Well, that would take mm -hmm. a little too long. So this is something like I'm definitely going to put in front of them. <laughs> yeah. That's a great use case. It's a fantastic use case. And whether you know your you know SQL or the, the team you're working with knows SQL, uh, it's a really great translation layer for any developer. They can now, if you're a developer, you'll look at Airtable in a whole new way when you see it in a Postgres schema. So that's a perfect use case, Allie. Excellent. Well, I'm sure the community is very grateful, including myself. And where can our listeners go to learn more about Sync Inc.? Great question. So you can learn more about Sync Inc. by going to our website, which is syncinc.so. That's S-Y-N-C-I-N-C dot S-O. And you'll find that we have all sorts of materials there. We have docs, tutorials, explanations of how to use Sync Inc. Um, and so that's the place to go to learn more about it. Excellent. We'll be sure to put links to that in the description below. Thank you guys so much for your time. This was wonderful. I'm super excited for you and I can't wait to see what comes next. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Allie. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, as always, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. If you did and you'd like to learn more, be sure to swing by Sync Inc.'s website. I will include links below. Check out their incredible tool. I'm really excited to start implementing it myself. In the meantime, if you have any questions, be sure to drop them below in the chat and I will see you in the next video. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly, and we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts, we have some online courses and a group coaching program, and for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.